A very good afternoon to you. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Africa time. This is your radio 99.0 for a fresh breath of music and a crew most popular radio station. It's time for Doom News with me, Kate Vobik. I'm calling uh, a lady by the name of uh, Ross. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Uh, hi, Ross. I'm fine, thank you. My my name is Kate Vobik. I'm calling you from Hero Radio. Uh-huh. And uh, I got your number from Ted. Okay. Uh, who is Ted to you? Ted is my hubby. Ted is your hubby? Yes. For how long have you been married? For about seven years. Seven years. Yeah. How can you tame your marriage? Has it been a successful <coughs> one or... Um, Kwanza kwanza marriage na kwanga na challenges but for now we are good. Sorry? Really good. We are very good. I can't complain. Right now we love you're very each good. Other. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are successful. You're successful. Yeah. Okay, um I'm calling you with a disturbing news. Mm-hmm. Because um Ted got to know something that you've been doing. Something that I've been doing. Where do you go? At night, mm-hmm. once per week. Me. You. No, I go nowhere. You go nowhere. Yeah. What if I tell you Ted has an evidence that uh, every every week mm-hmm. you have to go to a mortuary? Mm-hmm. And uh, I just want you to tell me, what do you do at a mortuary? First, why does he not trust me? Okay, I wouldn't know more about their trust, but uh, he told me what he knows, what you go to do there. Is he listening to you now? Definitely he is. Hmm? Um, my assumption is he is. So, uh, Ross, let's talk. Yes. Eh? We went up Fanyanini mortuary once per week. I go to see dead people. To see dead people? Yes. Okay. Fresh dead people. Okay, what do you mean you go to see fresh dead people? That's my work. I'm so confused now. Your work. Okay, yes. are you are you an undertaker? Do you work in the mortuary? No, I don't work in the mortuary. Mm-hmm. But I go to see it. To do what? I wouldn't. I go there so that I could get. Get what? To talk. Okay, uh, let's cut this short by me telling you I know what you go to do there. Why do you go to sleep with dead people once per week? They are dead. How do you get money from dead people? Um, You're not supposed to know that. That's between me and whoever I do it with. Okay, Rose, yes. it's disturbing your husband. Now, now I'm kind of con- concerned because... Your husband mm-hmm. told me to tell you that it's over between the two of you since <laughs> amejua wewe Okay. Amejua wewe uenda kulala na maiti mm-hmm. kwa mochari once per week. Okay. Would you mind just explaining to me? Uh, um uh, about 4 years ago. Mhm. We were very low in terms of money financially. Yeah, yeah financially. Mhm. So, yeah, going in a stable job, mm-hmm. I had to seek a friend to help me. Mm-hmm. So we went for the ritual gangas, mm-hmm. and I was told to sleep with fresh dead people in order for me to acquire mm-hmm. the wealth that I have right now. So, my dear, for how long have you been doing this? Four years ago, you were told this. So, have you been doing this for four years? For three years now. For three years. Yes. Allow me to be kind of vulgar kidogo. Mm-hmm. Dead people don't erect. How do you do it? How do you sleep with dead people? They are dead. They are just stagnant. Ama you just have to sleep with them, RJ. That's between me and them. Please, you don't need to require more. Okay, so who do you work with? Because awendangi kwa makaburi, unendanga kwa maiti, uh, unendanga kwa, ka, uh, what do you call it? A mortuary. Mortuary. Do you go to a specific mortuary or do you have someone you coordinate with? An attendant. I always pay one who is my trustee. 
so you only have one trustee an undertaker yes. there yes how much do you pay him around 5k every week every week so uh, do you now have the money you've been looking for yes i have the money the position and everything i needed Okay, then I think it has costed you the love of your husband because he told me to tell you it's over between the two of you. He cannot mm -hmm. be with you because you've been sleeping with dead people. At it's over. Yes. Are you serious? Nimpende, nimfanyo kitu yote, alafu na nimbe it's over. Kumpende aje, kulala na maiti, you better dog a lady uh, or a guy, any human being with another human being. Maiti. No, no, na maiti nipate pesa. Upate pesa rose lakini you know I'm 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 just speechless. Is that dog going to give me money? Yeah? Is that dog going to give me money? Are you calling your husband a dog? No, I'm not calling him a dog. Yes, you know, no no no, I meant eh, you better mm. beat around with the, someone else but mm. not a dead person. Well, that's me. It's my life. Okay, my message was this. It's over between you and your husband, Ted. Mm -hmm. So he can... And tell him, mm -hmm. before he leaves, mm -hmm. kill a kitu young, ayate kwa nyumba. I can get some other men who want to mint money from me. My dear, money is not everything. Afadhali wishi kwa nyumba haina kitu and uh, the love is genuine and... Okay, let me ask you, do you think you need help? Can I call, maybe I connect you with a spiritual help, you get helped, and uh, you, you, you bring back your marriage into a godly way? So far, Staki, any help. I, I'm not ready to lose everything I have simply because of help, spiritual help. No, I don't need that. So you're ready to ruin your life with rituals, sleeping with dead people for money? Yes, that's what I do. That's what I'm used to. And uh, you don't care losing your husband? Yes, he can go to wherever he wants to get uh, maybe a spiritual wife. Jesus. And life moves on. I'm good to go. Do you have any kid? No, I don't have any. Is it by choice? Um, By nature, I'm barren. By nature, you're barren? Yes. Does your husband know that? No. Oh, God. I still insist. Do you think you need help? I'm ready to help you. I don't need help, Kate. Tafadali. Really? Yes. Would you want to talk to your husband for the last time and then you mm -hmm. call it a quit? We have nothing to talk about simply because he knows and he was snooping through my back. I don't need to know anything about him. But would you blame him? Who would even tolerate a, a, a person who sleeps with dead people? Um, okay, let me ask you, sorry. Let me just ask the last question, then I tell you bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Kwa mochari, mali unaendanga, mi najua uwa zinapangwa, maiti upangwa. So do you sleep with one ukiangalia hizi zingine, ama one is taken aside and then you sleep with it? One, venye mekufa sa hiyo fresh. Fresh? Yes. Kwa mochari? Eh, yeah, kwa mochari. And you don't need help? <coughs> I don't need help. Okay, I rest my case. Okay.